and so that's a natural job for him. I'd like to thank the people who worked on the committee for uh, this event, Daryl Hughes, Reverend Mike Mason, Judy Lennox, and Jack and Betty Lewis. Uh, if any of you are here, stand up. They did a lot of work with uh, putting up posters. I would also like to thank Greg Bonney, Kevin Arndt, and Ray Spencer, who are providing the sound system and also running the sound system today. So we hope that problems we've had in the past with the sound will not be present today. I know you'll all appreciate that. These are members of the Christian rock band Reviver, and we thank you very much. And also recognize that, uh, well, we're doing our own video, but we have a professional video person, Caesar, over here. And we appreciate you. Of course, we're most appreciative of Kenny and Jeannie and the other talented performers who are here uh, in what is the eighth benefit jazz concert, and many of them have been here performing in all eight when they thought they were only going to do one. And without them, of course, we wouldn't be here. I'd like to thank three corporations who provided some funds to help support this event, Anheuser-Busch Company, Southwestern Bell, and Union Electric. And we were able to give some tickets to people as a result of their support. The funds that uh, we make from this event are used to uh, provide programs and services through the Five Church Association for this community, including the food pantry, a summer program for children, youth meetings, and a variety of other kinds of programs, utility assistance and other things to serve the community. That will. We hope that uh, as a result of this event, we will provide one or two months of emergency food for our food pantry and the summer program for children. I want to say that there will be an intermission about halfway through the program as normally, and this time we will be serving refreshments downstairs at that time, so if you feel like getting up and moving around at that point, there will be coffee and punch and cookies downstairs and instead of afterwards as we've done in the past. And now I'd like to introduce to you our Master of Ceremonies for this afternoon, Mr. Don Wolf. Many of you know that he is a, a very well-known criminal defense lawyer in the St. Louis area, and jazz is his hobby. He has an extensive jazz collection, and you can hear him on Saturday nights on WSIE-FM in Edwardsville. In the past, he also had a show on KXOK AM, uh, both uh, a show on law and uh, also a jazz music show. Well, he's had a lot of experience. Thank you, Reverend. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon on a beautiful day in St. Louis. It's a privilege to be here for several reasons. First of all, as you know, Charlie Manise, Dr. Jazz in St. Louis, usually has this honor. He's not able to be here with us today. He's teaching a class to some senior citizens in the lake, at the Lake of the Ozarks on Glen Miller. So uh, it's an honor to take Charlie's place anytime. Secondly, it's equally an honor to participate in this particular event. The Five Church Association, I think, has been in existence now going on to its third decade. And it performs many useful services to the community, including emergency food pantry services, a clothing bank, and provides children and youth programs in this community. And so to participate in an event that has as a love of all of ours, jazz, and at the same time to be able to do something good for the community is very pleasing for all of us, I'm sure, and especially for me. Third of all, to participate with jazz giants in your hometown is a privilege for anybody, and it's especially so for me, there's a line that Joe Williams uh, uses in one of his songs, uh, and the name of the tune is called, It Ain't Easy Being White. And that line goes something like this, it ain't easy being white, because the only time anybody calls you brother is when it's your mother's other son. <laughs> That's not really true today, because uh, back here are 
eight or nine brothers and sisters that they're brothers and sisters of yours and they're brothers and sisters of mine. And it's a privilege to introduce them and to participate in the program with them. And without any further ado, I want to do just that. First of all, someone who needs no introduction to this community, particularly if you have an old jazz record collection like I do, you may, you may remember this particular album of which Kenny is very, very proud. Kenny Rice is not only a participant in this particular program, uh, he takes this program to heart and he's, he very much considers this one of his ways of giving back to the community. Kenny Rice is, of course, a drummer in our community. He was born November 1st, 1942 in St. Louis County. He attended and graduated from Kinlock High School where Vernon Nashville was his band director. He's played with Jimmy Forrest, Gene Harris and the Three Sounds, Albert Blues Boy King, Oliver Nelson, Grady Tate, and Nat Adderley, who he played with on this particular album. And of course he plays with David Hines. Kenny Rice on the drums. really, but I'd like to do that. Secondly, David Edward Hines, a trumpet player, a flugelhorn player, and a piano player, was born July 18, 1942. I'm giving you these dates because these guys are all younger than I am. <laughs> David, did you wear your hat? David... Sumner High School, St. Louis Institute of Music, SIU, where uh, WSIE is housed, by the way, Chicago Conservatory of Music is where he got his Bachelor of Arts, Lincoln University, Washington University. David, how come you never went to the University of Missouri? The same as advice to young jazz musicians. Be serious, work hard, know, and be honest with yourself. That sums up David <laughs> who plays both the soprano and the tenor saxophone. He's a favorite of jazz fans around the country, particularly in St. Louis. And uh, he's played with Oliver Nelson, Paul Hucklebuck Williams, who made the Honey Dipper famous, by the way. He's a member of the St. Louis Quartet. <laughs> Rounding out our uh, group here today is a talented young guitarist, Rob Block and premier bassist, Gus Thornton. I'll be back in a few minutes to introduce uh, some of our vocalists, although one of the popular, prominent, one other word about Jimmy Jones is he's one of the authors on a book called Sweet, Hot, and Blue, St. Louis's Musical Heritage. I recommend it to you, ladies and gentlemen, you're a St. Louis jazz musician.
Just get up. Can you hear me very good? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm getting too old for this. <laughs> Doing this stuff. Thank you very much, Bob. And uh, but I guess he couldn't make it. Anyway, <laughs> uh, programs for them. Help keep them out of the streets. People who need clothes, they have a clothing bank. 
that they can go to to get clothes. They have a food pantry for, for hungry people who need food. And this group of five churches that all get together to do this. Now, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to do any preaching because Wally told me, don't try preaching. I won't do that. <laughs> but to me, that's what doing God's work is all about, helping people. And the one person who is literally the heart and soul of this fine organization is the Reverend Mildred Slack. And I'd like to just stand up and get a big round of applause for the Reverend Mildred Slack. Yeah. Uh, also, uh, I'd like to uh, introduce the gentleman here in the orchestra with me. They've already been introduced by Ms. Don, but I just have my little personal thing with the fellas. On bass here, Mr. Gus Thornton. <laughs> On guitar, back again after a year hiatus, Mr. Rob Block. We're very happy to have him back. <laughs> On horn, the one and only Mr. Willie Akins. <laughs> John right here, longtime friend since high school. Boy, we have been through some things. Had a lot of fun too, but I love him like a brother. But he's hard to get in touch with nowadays, but that's all right. Mr. David Hines, David Hines. <laughs> I'd just like to say, my friends and colleagues here, those who are on the stage and those who will come out later on, uh, <clears throat> uh, many of you might have heard about the very tragic accident of three St. Louis musicians who were killed in uh, a plane crash with uh, country legend Reba McIntyre. We knew them all, particularly Pete Tye Williams. The three musicians were very good friends of Pete Tye. And at the memorial service for these musicians, country legend uh, Johnny Cash said, musicians are the gatekeepers of heaven. And I thought to myself, that's a very powerful statement, a sentiment for somebody to say of musicians. And I thought about it. Many of us don't achieve a great deal of success in this business, but we just like playing the music. And each year I call my friends and colleagues out to come <clears throat> and help in this very fine cause. And they come. They don't have to come, they're not being paid, but they come to help. So I like to ask you, the audience, to help me to thank them. And usually this is done at the end of the program, but if you will, help me thank them by giving them a standing ovation right now for them. I would appreciate it. For those on the stage of the Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. That'll help us play better, too. <laughs> well, all right, all the talking is over now, and without further ado, much more music for you. We have a great program lined up for you. Right now, we're going to do a tune called Sunshine, featuring Mr. Willie Ingers on. Uh, the soprano saxophone. Two.
I was going to say, I certainly want to thank Mr. Don Wolf for taking out his busy schedule and coming out doing the MC duties for us this year from WSIE. Ladies and gentlemen, how about another big round of applause? This is Don Wolf. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, the moment we've been waiting for, so to speak, uh, this gentleman just walked in the house, and I know a lot of the ladies in the audience are very happy about that <laughs> because he's very popular among the ladies. And if he didn't get up here and do something, we might not be able to get out of here today. He's got to run. He has a 5 o'clock engagement, but we're going to call him right on up. Bill Tucker, ladies and gentlemen. Come on up, Bill. Thank you, Kenny. <laughs> Good evening, everybody. I'm going to do a little blues for you. I can't hear it. Bring it up a little bit. 
enjoyed yourself so far? Yeah. Put a little blues for you. Every day, every day I have the blues. Every day, every day I have the blues. When you see me worried, Baba, little girl, it's you I hate to lose. Nobody loves me. Nobody seems to care. Nobody loves me. Nobody seems to care. When you think of hard luck and trouble, Mama, little girl, you know I've had my share. I'm gonna pack my suitcase, moving on down the line. I'm gonna pack my suitcase, yeah, moving on down the line. Cause there ain't nobody worrying, honey, and there ain't nobody crying, dog. It seems to me every day, every day, every day, every day I have the blues. Yes, every day, every day, every day, every day I have the blues. When you see me worried, honey, little girl, it's you I hate to lose. Come on, Rob, play some good love for me. Mr. Willie Akins on a beautiful standard called Body and Soul.
Williams, beautiful, body and soul. And I must say this again because those of us who know and love Willie lovingly refer to him as Sweets. And now that you've heard him play like that, you know why. All right, now I'm going to turn it over to Mr. Don Wolf to uh, bring Jeannie Trevor up. Thank you, Kenny. Kenny Rice and his All Stars. What do you say? show in case you don't listen to it on WSIE every Saturday from 4 to 7 p.m. and I see Bob Roberts in the back. He co-hosts the show. Bob Roberts, stand up and say hello. <laughs> We're very fortunate in St. Louis to have a number of fine vocalists. We heard a male vocalist that uh, Kenny referred to that the women loved. Uh, Kenny, now we're going to get to hear a vocalist that the, that the men love just so you uh, don't get too chauvinistic on us. <laughs> we have a number of fine vocalists in the St. Louis area. In fact, I see one of them sitting out in the audience, May Wheeler. May, hello. <laughs> a couple of fine young uh, female vocalists are going to join us a little later in the program, Denise Times and Kim Fuller. Uh, before I bring on uh, the lady who I think uh, is one of our outstanding vocalist in the St. Louis area, I thought I'd read a little bit, one paragraph from this book I referred to earlier, the Jimmy Jones co-host with Lynn Driggs Cunningham. It's appropriate, I think, as we let the guys uh, sort of let their chops rest just for a second, their chops in their hands. Music is a feeling. It's not just a beat or a rhythm, but the echo of a human voice crying to be heard through the centuries, yearning to communicate, to erase them, and somehow satisfy the human soul's longing to be happy, happy, peaceful, and free. And I don't know of any words that could better introduce our female vocalist who's been long in demand in the St. Louis area, where Jeannie Trevor has recorded with Kathleen Brown and Ernie Hayes. If you haven't had the chance to see Jeannie live many times, you ought to take advantage this summer. She's going to appear at the Muni Opera on June 17th, I think it is, in our Muni Opera's version of Kiss Me Kate, Kiss Me Jeannie Trevor. Thank you so much. You must take the A train. You get way up to Sugar Hill and Harlem. In a hurry, I'm bored. Oh, but the A train, you get to Sugar Hill and Harlem. Hurry, get on board, it's coming in. Listen to the rails, listen to it coming on board, on board, on board, on board. You'll get to Sugar Hill and Harlem. Shut up, I don't know.
it's coming. Listen to the music. I listen to it humming on board now. won't you? At this time, it's my pleasure to introduce and present a gentleman that we all love, who musicians especially love. He's written a, a book about the folks who were raised here in St. Louis and who are fine musicians that deserve the credit that some of them got and some of them didn't get. And he's also going to write another book, part two, of people who are native, not native. with the Duke Ellington tradition, one of his favorite tunes, uh, one of the favorite tunes I like, is called Don't Get Around Much Anymore. I miss the Saturday dance, I heard they crowded the floor, it was lonesome without you. Don't get around much anymore. Thought I'd visit the club. I got as far as the front door. They all asked me about you. I don't get around much anymore. Oh, darling, I guess my mind is more at ease. But Tell me what for I'm lonesome with you I don't get around much anymore I miss the Saturday, the Saturday, the Saturday, the Saturday, the Saturday dance I heard that crowd at the floor It was lonesome without you I don't get around much anymore that I like to do called Lady is a Tramp. She gets too hungry, a 